What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. In today's video we'll be covering a task 2 speaking question so take out your notebooks, grab your writing utensils, and get ready to take some outstanding notes. That's the reading passage we'll be looking at today. It's a letter so pay extra close attention to this one. The first sentence. At present, students are required to meet with their academic advisors. The, the advisors help students select courses. However, I don't see the point of required meetings. Alrighty. So the writer of this letter does not see the point of required advisor meetings, right? So the beginning sentence, propose that the school should no longer make advisor meetings required. Alright, now let's look for the reason for this proposal. Since the necessary information about the courses is already available on the university's website. Alright, that's a mouthful, so we're going to paraphrase that and make it a little bit shorter. The necessary information is available on the website. We're done with the reading passage. Let's listen to the conversation. Did you see this letter? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't agree. It's definitely not the same thing to just go on the university's website. You don't think so? No. I mean, sure, the basic information is there, but that's not all advisors help you with. Sometimes there are different ways you can meet a requirement for graduation, like different classes you can take. And if you talk to someone, they can help you figure it out. And you can't get that from just reading what's on the website. Right. Advisors have a lot of extra information, so they make it easier for you to see what your choices are. I see what you mean. And as for scheduling meetings, I've never had that kind of trouble. Me neither. So anyone who does have problems must be waiting till the last minute to set something up. That's possible. I mean, the thing is, if you call or go to the office early enough to set up an appointment, schedules are open. It's just if you wait till the last possible day, it'd be harder, because they already have lots of students scheduled then. The man expresses his opinion about the proposal in the letter. Briefly summarize the proposal, then state his opinion, and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. The writer of the letter proposed that the school should no longer make advisor meetings required. However, the man is not looking forward to this. First and foremost, the man mentioned that the basic information about courses is on the university's website. However, academic advisors can tell students about different classes that they can take. In other words, advisors have lots of extra information which will make the process of making a decision easier for students. On top of this, the man also said that most people who have trouble meeting with their advisors are actually waiting until the last minute. Consequently, if students do not wait until the last moment, they will be able to schedule meetings with their advisors with no problem. Even though the writer of the letter believes that the necessary information is already available on the website, the man opposes the letter's proposal. All right. Now, after my second reason ended, I think I had about 13 or 12 seconds left, but I still decided to go on and say the ending statement because I just wanted to show you that it's possible, more than possible, as long as you don't stutter and know exactly what to say. Now, the, the last sentence of the first reason was long for no good reason at all. All you have to actually say is, in other words, advisors have lots of extra information that's not on the website. If you put it simply like that, you're still gonna get a really good score, okay? Now, for the second reason, over here I said they will be able to schedule meetings with their advisors, but all you have to say is they will be able to meet their advisors, okay? Alrighty, so there are always more concise ways to put together whatever information you wanna convey. So try to look for those um, easier ways, especially if saying sentences or phrases in English is not something that's too natural for you and I can help you realize those different ways, okay? All right, if you guys enjoyed the sample response and the question for today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share the content, but most importantly, if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the score that you need and deserve in 2020. Peace.